Hello everybody and welcome to the council. Uh, the council is uh, an interesting game that was not anywhere near my radar but so many games that I kind of uh, play on here are kind of like that where something gets recommended or I check something out or just randomly hear about something and then I'm like oh what's this uh, it plays very similar to a kind of a hybrid um, telltale type game um, where like dialogue choices are kind of key in this kind of story and it has a very interesting story from what I've seen from the trailers so far I haven't really spoiled anything but um, it's it should be pretty interesting I've had a lot of people kind of ask me to play a kind of telltale game or something like that on my channel and um, none of them have really appealed to me apart from the wolf among us uh, which I love I've played through that and I loved it and um, I'm gonna play the second one when that comes out this year but it's not till much later so I figured I'd give this a go see how it is it's episodic so we've got episode one at the minute and then they're gonna do two three and four or whatever it is and release those at different dates you know similar in the way to kind of telltale game but this this has very different it has some different mechanics not the mechanics are different but it has some different mechanics as we'll get into i guess when we uh play the game if i could uh, use my mouse okay i was gonna play with my controller but i can play with the mouse right so uh, that was just the test out settings, so I might as well go for uh, a new game, and uh, it actually looks pretty nice as well, this game. Uh, it's French, I believe, um, in origin. Oof. There you go, we're in France, so it must be right, yeah. And this is December 10th, 1792. You're not getting anywhere with this von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. I'm listening. Nothing. Okay. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair of my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. Oh, this is mother. Okay. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. Creepy as heck. something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling nose. it when we're more and more party. <laughs> Jesus. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourself into. I like in. this guy's outfit. Some style. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. <laughs> Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just oh, a few more way. minutes and my concoction will be ready. <laughs> With this. Your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened the shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care. Von Borchard. Von Borchard. Hmm? Listen. Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. 
Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. I think you gotta trust your mum. Please. So that's a little yes. bit of the trait I'm not trusting. Uh. <laughs> that was so easy. Oh. Uh, shoot him, mum. Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. Okay. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borford. Well, that was easy. So you can see there the kind of dialogue choices and stuff like that, and the, the actions you have to take. Um, and we got a trait there, which was trusting, uh, and that's one of the things as well with this is, I guess your character changes, which unlocks different dialogue options and things like that as you go through the game. This is a month later, Lord Mortimer's Island off the coast of England. Oh, good, England. I don't think there's an island like that off, off the coast of England, but whatever. This is what they want you to think, right? There is no island like this, but then really there is. The game looks pretty nice as well. Uh, it's very, very much like an indie game, I believe. Um, I think it was like 15 quid, 17 quid, something like that on Steam. Well done, mother. Which I believe unlocks you all the episodes. You just had to get trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer. And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island, which, oh. by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. Oh, okay. So I guess we're going to be looking for our mother, who is some sort of like. Investigator, I guess. The least uh, you could do is explain to me how he managed to lead you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost well, mystical mean, object that you just can't live without. Well I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. So Where the heck are these two? We find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir, what brings you here? Oh, uh... Lord Mortimer tell. asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. Get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. Oh, this guy's hurting. Only a very it's pretty cool. Ever make it. Indeed, I it's very comfy. This must be your first time here. Um. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back That's again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. 
Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Uh yeah. There's that. <laughs> are you all right? Headache. Oh. Uh, Did you eat some ice cream too quickly? Is that what happened? I've been there, buddy. It hurts. <laughs> Mother? Oh shit, your hand! Oh shit. So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? The hell happened to her? Right. Just one thing left to no, do. No, Mother, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There's no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, Sarah. Don't. No. Who the hell is that guy? No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay for it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's a nosebleed. You. That's embarrassing. Livy, are you alright? What's going on? You seem to got some chocolate down your face. Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. <laughs> Damps it a little bit. I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't, why don't you just go on ahead and I'll catch up with you okay are you sure yes I'm sorry I'm sure yes fine I definitely have to find mother quickly yeah it looks like she could use a hand or what get it this can't be real the, the she could arrived with me use a hand Jesus Christ I know use a controller. Absolutely not. Find your mother. Oh god. The sensitivity is like really bad. Hold on. Hold on. Are you joking me? That's maximum sensitivity. Oh boy. We're in for a long one. Here is that I think this is kind of like the tutorial of like how you move around and such. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess. I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Oh, okay. So this is something you have, like, with skills. It's choosing a class defines your basic skills. The other skills will still be available, but unlocking them will be more expensive, so it could be a diplomat. The diplomat shines in society, a talented speaker. He avoids faux pas, and he can convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. Politics is filled with predilection. The occultist is a master of deception. Convinced of the importance of knowledge, he has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. The detective excels in investigations. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings, as well as in people he questions. Hands on that, so shall away from the dread approach. Uncover for detective. And these are the skills. So you unlock skills as you level up. As I said, it's got an interesting little twist to it. I've got three points available now. So, logic, use your mind, logical mind that already unlocks dialogue options. So, they said they unlock dialogue options. What do these do? Oh, okay. Uh, 
so that's I guess if you want to go down a talking route this is a more of a I guess scientific route and that this is your kind of like uh, well detective I guess vigilant route uh, okay let's add a point there for example. Thieves that torture their victims with burning embers. Mm, well, charming. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. Mm, I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Uh, I'm gonna be honest with her and please say no. Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering to me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Right, you smooth well, I talker. Say you make up for yourself rather elegantly. <laughs> Please stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No, sorry. I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I am so sorry, Emily. But I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. It's weird that we don't remember her. You think you would? Opportunities, your skill allows you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggestive the situation or to discover them. Uh, okay. Opportunities do not consume effect effort points to access skill required for the You just need to have unlocked it. Oh. Ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Yes, she's a woman. That's what they do. Each person you meet at the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed, and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. Okay. Space button to access your menu pages. View immunities and vulnerabilities in the journal tab in the menu. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. You so she's immune to logic. You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. <coughs> I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Okay, you can obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects, and they offer very interesting improvements. Okay. Uh, okay, that's up that. Oh, okay, so when you reach certain levels in your character, that unlocks these traits that you get. Got it. So this one, I need to reach level 3 in Vigilance and 2 in Questioning Psychology. Interesting, isn't it? Half the fake elements displayed during an opportunity. Oh, okay, that's cool. A detective, I'm trusting. And charismatic. Okay, there's a map. Oh, okay, it's like a... Um, Face of the Golden Lord. Oh, that's the guy we just met. It's obviously Louis. 
as Ebony Hillsborough, the English Duchess. The son of Sarah Louis Moraz de Richet is a young Parisian aristocrat. Then why does he have an American accent? Okay, what is it? The invitation to write in you to express my embarrassment and concentration to find myself. As you probably know, I had invited your mother Sarah de Richet to join me in the island several weeks ago. We had projects in common regarding your order. Her stay was going smoothly until yesterday, when your mother suddenly disappeared. I do not want to worry you, but I would like you to join me as soon as possible, so we can shed some light on the mystery. Please accept, sir, the expression of my highest consideration. So either he is being genuine, or maybe he wanted us to come here to use us against uh, our mother. Royal Jelly. Okay. Royal Jelly restores two effort points. You cannot carry more than five. Jelly. Oh, Must be an incredible here? view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. And she had a submarine. Okay, I do not like how slow this camera angle is. It's shocking. Um, I mean, I guess we could have a little wander around here first. Good evening, oh, sir. Okay, May I come. ask your name? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I yes. must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Uh, what can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sarah's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But sir, may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. Okay, your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost and effort points. And did you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount so of points of those little diamonds, on I guess. The part of the wharf. What type of damage? Broken barrels, mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, our search of the wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials SDR. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the war for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Uh... Yeah. Give me the handkerchief. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, I... I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yes, but... Invited by your master. No, of course, but... Because oh, my mother was missing right under your nose. Sir, please. I have only him. just arrived, you refuse to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Here you are. Yeah. I must return now. There's still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. Okay. Looks like we logic him to death. Your handkerchief, mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Interesting. Doing out here on this wharf. Okay, hold down that button to be faster. There we go. Let's have a little look around here. Then. Wooden floorboard. Judging by 
the splinters of the wood. This floorboard has been ripped up. It was in decent condition. I wonder why someone ripped it up. Yeah, I wonder. Who done this? It probably comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. bag the mysterium cosmographicum i know that book well mother used to read passages from it to me all the time and judging from what i can see it's the same one as hers for crying out loud what's happened to you mother okay what about the rest of the bag Manuscripts allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. At the start of each quest, you can choose what to read and gain permanent skill points. Okay. Let's look inside the bag. A little food, a few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. Okay. Uh, some fruit, a piece of bacon, and some bread. Nice. The fruit's still firm. The bread's a bit stale. The smell this food's been here roughly two days and if it's rationed there's enough left to last two more days shit those are definitely my mother's things i recognize her hairpins this bag smells of her perfume a piece of soap some oils and a powder puff what does all this mean an iron key completely rusted no, it might be useful. I hope Mother wasn't counting on it. Uh. The bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. Shit, those are definitely my mother's things. I recognize her hairpins. I think it's a the reason to take her perfume. Um, a piece of soap. The rest of it, though, is the. I think I'm gonna leave the bag. She might have left it as something there to stash to come back to. Right, that's enough. I think I'd better leave her bag here. If she hid all this, it's because she thought she might need it later. For crying out loud. Why did you hide supplies in the middle of nowhere, Mother? Can we use that key on this like, door? You obviously feel like you're in danger. Yeah. Nice. There we are. Here we are indeed. Why do they call him Henry as well? He seems like a Henry to be fair. That's raw jelly. It's like a pistol case, but it's empty. I don't think this has anything to do with you, Mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. And none of it's telling me anything useful. Okay. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Uh-huh. We here. It's cannon powder. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I yeah. really must find you, dear mother, and quickly too. Interesting. There's something down there. Amber fragments. Just found out. Each time you pick up four of them, you use the increase your maximum effort. 
amber crystals. Okay, so we used our over points there to get in here. And it really didn't help us that much, did it? <laughs> I suppose we've got the book as well, actually. We uh, can have a look at that book. to have used any. Royal jelly, nice. Find it all of the jelly. Some rope. Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. Oh, I can have a look at these letters now. Let's see what's hidden inside. Find a clue. Difficulty three. Logic level one. Fuck it. Uh, I can use some royal jelly. The letters is stamped with the seal of the order. And I'd recognize your handwriting anywhere, mother. I didn't oh, understand how that was as much effort as ribbon on the floorboard. Who are you writing to? I don't recognize the name. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend, Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richer. What is your game here, Mother? Secrets, always more secrets. You've never talked to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. Who is this Samuel Winner? For crying out loud, who is this Manuel Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think. Godoy, Godoy. Manuel Godoy. Why does that name sound so familiar? I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But I just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll you have a lot to tell me. Okay. So, let's go through this. My mother's been hiding pieces of bread between the rotten boards of the wharf in the middle of the night. That's not normal. And if that weren't enough, it looks now like she's armed. Meanwhile, she also takes the time to send up letters, reassuring whoever might be interested that she's having a fabulous time here. So odd. So very odd. And that's not even all I've noticed. Maybe I had to move on to the manor now. They'll be waiting for me. A lantern. Nothing special. Just want to maybe take some of that royal jelly. Can uh How do I take the royal jelly? Do that 
apparently. I guess I could translate that like in real life, couldn't I, to kind of cheat, but I guess, again, that kind of would be cheating, wouldn't it? How did Mortimer manage to build this manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? Oh, and the other thing is as well, apparently, like, no matter what you choose, like, the game will run to the end. There's no, like, deaths or anything like that. It's, it's like, literally, you know, your choices are up there and you make them and it will go through to the very end so that's pretty cool Ah, my son, I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sada de Riche, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, oh, okay. you can always give it to me. Confrontations, join a confrontation. You have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequence on the rest of the story, so don't hesitate to use your skills. Okay. Thank you, my son. I bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Uh, Certainly, yeah. your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow. Oh, okay. By the way, your eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, uh, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. <sighs> Only she had told me where she's headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is commendable. But as we work together on a daily basis, it is surely just an oversight. Most certainly. You said you work together. What do you do exactly? Uh, it. My mother and I belong to the same secret organization, the Golden Order, which I joined a few years ago. Mother trained me, and I assist in her research. In other words, you can trust me. <laughs> my child, you are telling a person. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was a bit weird. <laughs> Secret society. It would seem that discretion is not one of your specialities, my son. You Let's will understand up. that it does not encourage me to put my trust in you. Okay. Shit. Now okay, that was a blunder. Got it. Same. It bothers me to see you in a quandary, your eminence. Is there any other solution? <clears throat> Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I uh, hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Uh, I didn't have to use the royal jelly. Don't worry, Your Eminence. Your secret is safe with me. You know my mother's reputation. As her son, I will defend the Dorishe's word with the same fervor. Ah, I would expect nothing less. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the oh, letter, can you one. promise me Good. before God that 
no one other than your mother would read it. Confrontation last step. For the last step of the confrontation, you must convince the person you're talking to by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the step will repeat something to either if you give a right one or you have no blunders left. The last step of confrontation will repeat itself if you fail. Uh, problem it is. Okay, no worries. I swear by the Almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Listen, let's stop there. I'm Dead. going to tell you some reliable trains. Your father and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priest's safe passage across the borders. Okay. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember oh, okay. to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Oh, I'm definitely looking. Hidden elements. Many clues and items are hidden. Some of them will have an impact on your ventures in your state to look for them. So if we go over to the chimney, we will chat to people, I guess, but maybe there's some things we can find over here. Devil's Law. Oh, we press, um, is it? No. No. There we go. Let's get a couple of them down. Right, so it's one, two, three, and four to use. Okay, it did tell me that to be fair, so. All of the damned by Rupert. The man who cannot achieve the salvation of God the Father is offered to fall into the depths of the abyss. Blind Oedipus, blinded himself. What a tragic destiny. Okay. I'm guessing that takes us back outside. Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging ruin. Does not take us back outside. Jesus Christ, what the hell is that? Fuck me. Saturn devouring his son. Good God, how awful. <laughs> Everything in this painting is disturbing. It's the first time I've seen brushstrokes like this. Crucifixion of St. Peter. He was crucified upside down, out of humility. Surprising for an entrance hall. Okay. I got just arrived. Ah, right. It might be bad manners to go true, upstairs without true, being invited. What's this? Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. Shall sure, I take it? I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me your eminence. Simple. George Washington, President of the United States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Moras de Richer. It is an honor to meet you. Young How's man, let's there? keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. 
Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet, and you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people. Scheming left and right about oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord de Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richer, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Uh. Like you, Mr. President, I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well done, Louis. Good Seriously, say. though. I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to She's speak about her. Mum gets around, doesn't she? Uh. Good Lord. Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Okay. Good evening, my friend. Holy shit. <laughs> That's the man for my visit. An urgent case has delayed our host for a short He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. The hell is that guy? He hasn't even turned up? Great start. Do you know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an English aristocrat, very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer. So don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. I'm going to stay with Washington. Let's see what Washington has to say. Sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. Louis, thank you for staying. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry. Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is, in fact, the leader of the order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. <laughs> My 
mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. Lord Mortimer is a remarkable man. He's wealthy, and his advisor to the very highly placed. Your mother is the head of the Order in France. It doesn't surprise me that he asked her to come. Lord Mortimer greatly contributed to financing my electoral campaign, for example. But I want this to be clear, without ever seeking to gain an advantage. And that is to his credit. Yes, you can trust him. He will do everything in his power to help you find Sarah. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. Where did you first meet her? I met Sarah during the War of Independence on American soil. She was introduced to me by a mutual acquaintance, and I must say that her sound advice prevented me from making some terrible mistakes. She may not be a soldier, but believe me, she deserves a statue as much as Lafayette does. <sighs> well, I didn't see that one coming. There's no doubt Mother has many secrets that are still hidden. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? Man, I can't ask any questions, can I? Um... When she came to the U.S., did you exchange ideas about the Golden Order? Exactly. What's more, she was essential in helping set up the American branch of the Order. I would never have become its leader without her help. We are a new country. And to achieve our democratic ideals, we need to count on discreet powers such as our organization. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information, thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. Mother still is at the head of the Golden Order. I find it difficult to believe that she came to this island without notifying the other members. As for myself, I did not know. I am here at the request of Sir Holm, a situation regarding the Crown of England to resolve and to see what Lord Mortimer has to propose to us. As for me, Lord Mortimer asked me here to speak about the future of America. I did not know that your mother would even be among us. In any case, no one has yet mentioned this association with Lord Mortimer. We have a time to Oops. Okay. Uh... But I did find a book that belongs to my mother. Where did you find it? That's what worries me. I found it hidden on the wharf. Do you think she was preparing to discreetly leave? I don't know. An extremely likely proposition. I'll believe it when I see it. Don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Yes, I, I hope not. Every time I see George Washington, I think of Bioshock Infinite and expect him to be welding a minigun. The fuck is that? <laughs> George Washington well, dies. <laughs> but don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. You to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. Sir Holm, who is that young lady with you? Uh, Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, 
I'm counting on your indulgence. Uh, Washington looks surprised. I'm literally guessing this. I wonder if he's being polite or if he really doesn't see his discomfort. On that note, it's very late. He must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your room. Revealed Elizabeth Adams. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, Your Eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. It has, Louis. Right. It has been quite Where the day. Where is my room? He said down the end of the corridor. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. I never worked out why, like, big houses have, like, chairs, like, so many chairs in the corridor and stuff like that. Duke Manuel Godoy. It's Godoy's room. We know about Manuel Godoy. That's ring a bell. So he was the guy mentioned in the letter by our mother, but we can't go into that room. Yep, yeah, what's the point of having all these chairs? It's like in a hotel, you know. If you've stayed at a hotel, you're like Huh, oh, that's me. Um there's always chairs like in the corridor and stuff like that, and you're like, why? quite understand it. Right. So what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Biagi's crime. You know, I'm actually gonna leave it. Uh, no. Look at that. I should have got that. I'm gonna leave the letter closed. Can't wait to open it, but I gave my word to Biagi, so... Too bad. I'll wait until I hand it to Mother. Wow. Nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. He does not, does he? Uh, looks like we have a little, uh, wow, that's a balcony and a half, isn't it? Russian ruble. I wonder what it'd be worth today. Uh, we can't get in there, apparently. Oh, that's my bedroom. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh well. That does not look comfortable for bed. Why would you wear something with a collar in bed? Oh, uh, maybe he's got any choice. I didn't actually see him bring any like luggage with him, but still. I hope I feel that that would be really... Okay. Could have made an unexpected encounter. I didn't fail it. Oh, okay, so this levels us up. Or level two. Which means we got four more available points now, uh, talents-wise. Recover 
make your efforts points last when you encounter an immunity. Servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of Durache's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this it's late Napoleon. hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move. Don't you say our games always seem to end like this or always start like this Come come take a seat my friend That is 100% Napoleon Yeah Napoleon Bonaparte Didn't she have a look at Sarah Adams in bio Oh there's Washington A little nighttime stroll, Mr. President. There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. So there's definitely something dodgy about. <clears throat> Lord Holm at home. He's going into my room. I've got chocolate around my nose again. I'm coming. Um. Yeah, Monsieur. 
Uh, I am unable to join you at present. However, I'm okay. sure that we are doing all we can. I, I don't want to keep this guy waiting. Where the hell am I going? daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens. I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. And perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small cellar. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. Yeah, but we should help him, because he'll help us. You count on me, sir. Thank you, my friend. Keep Elizabeth downstairs as long as possible. She must not return to her room. Trust me. Okay. I'm kind of hoping that there's a bit of a break so I can finish this episode. Ah, there is. Okay. Okay, I'm going to finish up this episode there. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to play some more. I'm going to finish this episode. Uh, that's in like the whole thing. Let's see where we go from there. But it's very interesting so far, I think. Um, I'm intrigued to know what's going on. Um, actually, I just wanted to have a look at the, uh, Elizabeth Adams is the daughter of John Adams, Vice President of the United States. I thought she might be connected to John Adams. Uh, Elizabeth was rejected by her parents at birth and was declared stillborn. Brought up in isolation, she grew into a frail young lady with bipolar disorder, devoured by terrible fits of anxiety. Okay, cure your awareness and folly. A friend of Sir Gregory and Lord Mortimer, John Adams, decided to send his daughter to Lord Mortimer and hoped that she could help her. Okay. Uh, Napoleon Bonaparte. Also, oh, we can actually learn there. Like, Sir Emily's immune to logic. But the servants are vulnerable to logic. And we know about Lieutenant Napoleon Bonaparte. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, it's been my pleasure, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.